rooms and you see on television. And for some reason, the trees just always seem more elegant, more sophisticated, more, more put together than we know how to do. Well, there is actually a, a method to the madness in Christmas decor and Christmas designing. And we're able to talk to those experts throughout the years. Wait till you see how beautiful these handmade glass ornaments are that come to us from the brand name Inspire Me, which by the way, I love the name of your line. Thank you. This is really, truly extraordinary. I get to introduce you to Farrah Mahi. Welcome. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here with you and our viewers today. I met you for the first time last year on Christmas in July. Yes. And you've been a designer since you were no, oh, about that tall. I think so, yes, yeah. but I didn't know back then. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how much I loved it and enjoyed it. And you, you started sharing your passion <laughs> online, which is the way you know the modern generation does it, <laughs> and five million people started following you and saying, I love what you do. But to take the risk as an entrepreneur, this is a busy mom of three children. That's two full-time jobs all by itself, I think. But to, to risk bringing your designs to a national audience like us and then seeing people embrace it the way they have. It has been That's so be humbling. I can't even begin to tell you. You know, connecting with you, connecting with homeowners over the years and getting to see what you're asking of me, what you want from me, what you want from your home. I take all that information and being a, a working mom and knowing how busy life can be, yep. I want to make the process easy and fun and exciting for you. And so this is why we brought this gorgeous just 14 piece ornament set here. And Dan, the, the inspiration behind this is, you know, for years and years I've had people reach out and say, how do I create that designer look? The perfect tree. That yep. perfect, beautiful tree with the statement pieces. How do I mix and match my patterns and my textures and my um, different shapes? Because it can feel overwhelming. And so I decided, you know what, why not try to do this for you. I wanted to design this gorgeous collection so that it's easy and the holiday season can be fun and taking out that overwhelming aspect of it. And all you have to do is literally take it out of the box and place them on your tree or in a bowl or on your garland and you're on your way to decorating a beautiful home. There are two versions. One yes. is called the holiday red and we're gonna talk about the, the color red and what it means in terms of Christmas decorating. You're seeing that here. This standing next to me is called the mixed metallics, which is a wonderfully different, but equally as popular trend for decorating right now. Absolutely. And by the way, the price of $59.80 for 14 hand-blown glass ornaments, hand-painted, hand-embellished with lots of embellishments is absolutely unheard of. The retail value on this is over $90. Mm -hmm. This is Christmas in July. This took Farah and her team over a year to create so that we yes. would have it. If we go back into my childhood, we had one tree. Yes. The, the tree in the living room, the family tree. Mm -hmm. and, and we threw at it every ornament that my mom and dad had ever collected over the years. You know, handprints from us little kids and chickens we painted. You know, it was ridiculous. <laughs> but that was a loving tree. Yes. Nowadays, people have two trees three trees, maybe sometimes more in their home. That's true. And they, they've still got maybe that family tree with the old ornaments, but you're looking for that perfect, quintessential, elegant look. And by bringing it to us, this ornament, by the way, I know we're not supposed to have favorites. That is stunning. How beautiful is this? The one that you're holding there, Dan, is actually considered oversized. This ornament oh, yeah. is huge. I mean, put your hand behind it and look at how big it is compared to That's what we would call ball. this the standard size ornament mm -hmm. over here. And as you're saying, Dan, yes, we have, you know, these beautiful ornaments that are sentimental to us, the ones that our kids have decorated in their, you know, from school, our grandkids, right. you know, yep. loved ones. But this ornament here is not to take away or replace <coughs> those ornaments or even that you already have. With. No, yep. not, not at all. These ornaments are versatile enough, beautiful enough to actually be able to infuse them and really decorate with what you already have. Because come the holiday season, that's the one time where I love to go all out. Okay. I love to just, you know, the glitter, the, 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 the sequins, the beads, the pearls. That's when I want to bring all of that into my home. And the perfect way to do that is through these ornaments. And so what you're 
you're seeing here, Dan, I want to talk a little bit about the details on here. As you mentioned earlier, it took us a year. Yep. So last year we presented an ornament set and it was so popular it, it sold out. out. Yep. We brought it back. This time I wanted to bring it back, but I wanted to bring it back triple time. Right. We've got more in, pieces. Decor, beautiful pieces, bigger more pieces, pieces, bigger pieces. More embellishment. Look yes. at that tree. And we're seeing, by the way, there's nothing on that tree other than the poinsettia sprigs mm -hmm. and your ornaments. That's and, it. And lights and yes. the lights that come with. And I want to, we can go over here and kind of take a look. This tree this over is here tree is you, a, it, this is a nine foot tree. This is a tree that my wife has been dreaming about in I'll, our I'll entryway for decades. This is a tree that we brought in has three of my ornament sets on here. Uh -huh. So three of the 14 ornament sets and then the poinsettia or velvet poinsettia picks in there. And then on top, the you'll top. see the glitter spray. And, and then on the bottom, we have the red full fur gift boxes from my collection as well. And you're done. Yeah. The work's been done. You know, Dan, when the holiday season comes around, we get busy. We have, you know, events. We have it's stressful. Social events. It is very stressful. Agreed. You have family family members coming over. You're, you're hosting dinner. You you know what? Decorating shouldn't be stressful. It yep. should be fun. It should be. It should make you happy. It should be part of you know building those memories with your kids and your husband and your loved ones. And so this is what happens with these sets here. All you have to do is pick what you love in the color way that you like, and then you just place them on your tree, and you're on your way to having a gorgeous winter wonderland Christmas holiday season. Can I show a few photos of your home? Of course. Is that all right? Of and course. And by the way, that holiday that. red. It has been very popular and it is now considerably more limited than the mixed metallics. So over here you're seeing my family room and what you're seeing in here is my ornament set styled the uh, mixed metallics in a bowl and then my poinsettia pillows with the picks and the poinsettia um, um, in the vase right and here you go it's it's a very quick it's a very easy update for it's your clean, family room it's very elegant it speaks to that but winter it, wonderland but it's still look. warm it's very warm very cozy here's my crisp oh, here's the red ornaments in the bowl and then i want to show you my christmas tree actually here oh, you go that's gorgeous. so that's my home right there and everything you see on that tree dan is from yep. this if you have i have this is a seven foot tree i put three of my ornament sets on there i've got the poinsettia picks and i've got the rose hip sprays and then the glitter and all sprays that's in the show all of it all is available it. for it all of it so let me point out if, if you don't know Farrah, get to know this wonderful woman uh she is again she is a designer she's a busy mom three kids uh, you just wrote a book. You finished a book. Yes. So now I, you're an author. I'm so excited That's about so that. That's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> and, and she brings to us these classical elements. Now, by the way, I want to talk about the color red. Yes. And in particular, what it means to Christmas and how that color has morphed and changed. Pantone colors are announced every year at the end of the year mm -hmm. for what will be popular coming up the following season. In Christmas, there was never anyone who officially said, all right, this is going to be the Christmas red. But this has morphed into the red for 2019 and 2020. Yes. You can actually tell what era you're looking at by the ornaments that are on a tree. Again, mm -hmm. I lived in the and grew up in the era of the, the plastic Christmas. You know, everything was plastic. <laughs> and then we went to fiber optic. This is going back to the days of my grandmother in Germany, mm -hmm. uh, my father coming over to this country, hand blown glass ornaments where every embellishment is done by hand. This looks like a relatively simple ornament in my fingertips, but count how many of these jewel tones yes. you put here. I would love Vera. to talk about the details on here, Dan. So we were, you know, Again, this collection that you're getting is so beautifully designed. The work's been done for you. I've mixed and matched the shapes, the patterns, the textures, but then also the details. I always say it's all in the details yep. to create that wow factor. If we can get a close up of this um, ornament right here, let me show you. Not only are you getting the base here where you have the glitter, but then you're getting the sequins and the, and the pearls, but look at that detailing over here, almost like a bracelet all <laughs> around the ornament. I mean, it is so intricately designed that it will give you that wow factor and create a beautiful, a beautiful vignette on your tree. I then, love that you would not compromise because quite honestly, any other manufacturer, this would have had to been astronomically expensive. 
and they would have talked you out of part of your own design mm -hmm. simply to make the manufacturing simpler. No, easier. did not want to do that. But and you didn't do that. Absolutely yes. not. You guys are important for me, and you know, this is an ornament that I want to see in your homes, and you, I want you to be yep. proud to, to put these in your homes. For next generation. For next generation. And we were talking about right now, you know, ornaments and, and how um, sentimental they are. Yep. These can be part of your collection for years to come. Once your children leave your home, they can take those with them. It is part of their childhood, part of their memories. It can definitely become part of that collection that you cherish for years to come. See, see I got to tell you, you're a smart lady. You got this at a much earlier age than I figured it out. <laughs> okay? Uh, I had to hit the age of 50 to start having these weird thoughts of sentimentality. Yeah. There was nothing in my generation, really, uh, created in that time, in the 70s, the mm -hmm. 80s, that really could be passed down to a future generation with the love and respect that I remember the old glass ornaments from the old country. Yeah. Now there are, and this is it. These are the pieces that will define 2019, 2020. Uh, by the way, over 1,500 sets already ordered. You're paying less for ornaments today than what my parents and grandparents were paying mm -hmm. in terms of dollars in that day to have this type of quality. And I've got to tell you, there's few people on the planet who can even do this nowadays. We it's put stuff, we put pellets in a hopper and spit things out the other end. Mm -hmm. These are made one by one by one. Your bell. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh. I have to say, Dan, from, from this collection, what's your favorite? Uh, Let's tell, tell the viewers. What, in the metallics. Which one did you pick? In the metallics, it's yes. gotta be the, this bell. The bell, isn't it just beautiful? Look at that gold mercury that is on the, and it's almost like it's textured. But Do you look see at that all detailing that, on there? That encrusting it, of it, the pearlized details. pieces. And, yes. And you're working with finite small pieces. Mm -hmm. They have to be held in place with tiny little tweezers. This is all done by hand. And this is not just glitter this is not just sequence and beading and this is all mixed in yes. one ornament you've got the pearl you've got the crystal beads you've got the glitter you've got the mercury I mean how much more details can you go and that's look at a, how it ties back to the a bird that's 20 dollar ornament plus at least bought at the higher end showrooms and there is no one in the Christmas business and by the way I've met them all and I've worked with them all <laughs> that does finer work than what you and your people have done. Thank you. And you know, we were just talking about favorites. I will have to say the bird is my ultimate favorite because you can't go wrong with a bird on right. a tree, That's right? True. It's a bird, I, I, the love bird. <laughs> and then let's talk about this piece over Look. here. We were just talking about details. This ornament set, I mean, again, every single piece is, is thought out. Every single detail is thought out. Not only are you getting here all these gorgeous, gorgeous pearls and, and the sequence in there, but look at the detail and the texture like on the whole ornament. And by the way, you, I love that every piece is in of itself art. And each one has a different texture, a yes. different feel. But yeah. when you then bring them together mm -hmm. as a collection, you can tell that they go together. Absolutely. And you That's know, the Dan, hardest part for us to do normally yes. when you're trying to decorate a tree. The best part about this for me was, you know, we mentioned earlier that it took me about a year to design this and get it all set for you. And, you know, sampling and, and making sure that all the details that I envisioned came to life. And once I got the final product right. and I pulled it out of the box, I literally teared up because it was like all my hard work, yep. my sweat, blood and tears has finally come to fruition and now we have this beautiful ornament set that I'm going to love for years in my home and I hope you too. Last year when we had the ornament set, one of the most heartwarming things that happened was when the holiday season came, a lot of you started reaching out and showing me how you were decorating yes. your ornaments yep. in my Christmas in July collection in your home and it was just literally waterfalls over Isn't here on nice? my hand. My husband would see me on my phone and I'm crying. <laughs> He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yes, these it's, are happy tears. <laughs> it, but that's that's what the QVC family is all about. It's this group hug. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I want you to know again, Farrah took such a risk you know, a, a family with three children, working hard. And, and by the way, you, you have traveled the world, but you make your, your base, your, your home operation in Michigan. Yes, it's not, I'm from it's, Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's not Milan, it's no. not, you know, Pelly. Oh, I love that though, but yeah, no, I, know, I, but, I, I love Grand but, Rapids, Michigan, but yes, it is Grand Rapids. I am a working mom. I have three beautiful children, an amazing husband, and, and I'm and so- And that Midwestern honesty and that Midwestern <laughs> just niceness, and you feel it, in your ornaments. They are truly sophisticated, 
but it's about the warmth of that sophistication, Thank you. not about bragging rights. And so no. often I see designers where their Christmas tree is a bragging right more so than a, a home enjoyment. It's all Your about the sentimental. Feel good. Oh, yes. thank you. And I want to show yes. you here, Dan, we have all these, you know, we we're, were up there showing you all the details, but talk I love about, what you did in the box yes, back behind the sofa. Talk about all the different things you can do with these ornament sets because